Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 18th. So this is just what I'm picking up on for the 18th. It may resonate uh, whenever, you know, it is what it is. But this is the, the reading that I'm supposed to give for the 18th. This may or may not resonate with you. It is what it is. Whatever comes up, comes up. What do we got for the 18th? The saga continues. Woo! Yeah! That's that's right, too. I totally agree with that, okay? So it's like somebody's... Uh, it's a new partnership here. The fire has been lit. Absolutely on fire. Passion. A lot of passion. We have a new passionate beginning here. It's like somebody took a new approach. They got this new vision and boom! On fire. Instant. Instant attraction. Instantly lit. It's lit. It is lit. On fire. Absolutely. Ooh. The lovers is on the bottom of that deck. Just so you know. Instant. Unexpected. Absolutely. Unexpected love connection. No doubt. Go for it. Just go for it, right? Just go for it. With, with perhaps a Capricorn uh, this is this is there's so much passion here it's undeniable there's a magnetic pull okay there is it's just like it's like you can't even stop yourself it's so uh, tempting it's so alluring it's so uh, passionate that you can't you can't deny it whatever it is it's it's very uh the attraction is so big that you cannot deny it okay be careful though be really careful be careful Oh, God. I can't even get over this shit. I really cannot. New beginning. This is a, this is a, a end of, end of one phase. It's the end of one phase, the end of one chapter. Somebody has a major new beginning here. Major. This is universally driven. One phase of your life is over. And you're about to begin another one that's going to lead to success. Somebody's deciding that, that, you know what, they don't need to be trapped anymore. They don't need to be stuck. It's time to let go of my ego and just be happy again. It's like there's, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with a new partner. We have Capricorn here. We have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. We could be dealing with anybody. We could be dealing with anybody, but it looks like you really need to be careful. Don't don't trick yourself. Don't deceive yourself by thinking that it perhaps, you know, this could lead to wish fulfillment. Maybe you don't think it. Maybe maybe you think it's just gonna be sex, or you think it's just gonna be sexual. But that could be you, 
you know, deceiving yourself. This could lead to wish fulfillment and a golden opportunity. This is an opportunity for happiness. Let go of those inner conflicts. Let go of those fears. Let go of your fears of rejection. This is not always a bad card. There's a new beginning here, perhaps with, you know, somebody that you are drawn to for a reason. Okay? You're be there's a new beginning with somebody that, you know, is meant to be part of your next chapter. This is... I'm going to shuffle. Please tell me what's next. Please tell me what's next. No more waiting. You know, no more waiting. You don't somebody it's time. It's time to give somebody a chance. You don't it's here. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself of this wish fulfillment. It's time to let go of the burdens, let go of the of the of the, of the baggage that you have held on to. You can't hold on to it anymore. It's time to close. This is closure. Okay? It's the end. It's the Ten of Wands. the end of holding on. New opportunity in love. Five of Cups reverse. Realizing that there is. This is it. This is it. It's time to accept this change. It's the end. It's the end of instability. It's the end of insecurity. It is. We have we have big completion here. Completion, completion, completion. Completion of instability. Completion of insecurity. Completion of uh, focusing on the on the past. Focusing on the baggage. Focusing on holding on to something that was never coming. That phase is over. It's the end of cheating yourself of wish fulfillment. Somebody is having a new instant attraction, spark, uh, partnership, whatever it is. <laughs> Let me make sure this is zoomed in good. A new beginning, okay? We have a new beginning here. Major one. With somebody, this is this is two people being brought together, uh, probably um, sexually. You know, it's being brought together by um, sexual attraction. You know, mutual attraction. That's what it is. Okay. These people are being brought together by probably lust. I mean, it starts out as a lusty kind of thing. But it leads to something stable and solid. This is a golden opportunity that can lead to wish fulfillment. If you can let go of the baggage in the past and the burdens that you have held on to. This is what you have been waiting for. It's here. There's no more waiting this is, it's time. It's time to step over and begin again. Start that new life that you have cheated yourself from by holding on to something that was never coming. It's like somebody has this new flame, this new fire, this new partnership, this new sexual partner, I think, that starts out as that and leads to something solid and stable and a new beginning, um, a new relationship. Okay, it's the end of crying, you know, it is. It's the end of, of, of holding on to a painful situation. That's over. Right, it is. It's like we have, we have a, an opportunity for something to really manifest into something solid. Yes, it starts out as this, okay? It starts out as passion and excitement and, you know, uh, you know, it starts out as that. It starts out as, you know, 
whatever. You know what this is. It starts out as that. It starts out as very sexual, but it leads to something really big and solid, okay? Um, yeah. So it looks like we have a an opportunity for <laughs> abundance, okay, and happiness if you can actually leave the past behind because that's a big deal you have to let go of the baggage you need to let go of the burdens you need to drop what doesn't serve you to have this wish fulfillment and somebody is realizing that they're no longer focusing on the on the hurt realizing that they, they this is a real opportunity for love it is so I just feel like today is a day of um, perhaps extending extending your what you have to offer to another person all right really really putting it out there and and manifesting okay it's like getting what you have manifested a partnership that you have manifested i mean the ace of pentacles is a manifestation this is a new opportunity here and somebody sees that. Somebody sees that you have a big, this is a big opportunity. Oh my goodness. Somebody's opened their heart. Somebody is opening their heart to this this golden opportunity. We have we have two people that are coming together. A man and a woman. Both of these people have a, an offer, an offer of love and stability. Both people are ready. It's like, this is it. This is it. I just want to be happy. There's going to be um, emotional uh, compatibility and uh, stability, okay? You're going to have both of those factors here. It's just going to be so easy. It's like... This is this is this too good to be true? Is this really too good to be true? Because, I mean, it's, it seems to be. This is justice being served. This is getting what you deserve. This is exactly what you deserve. This is you. Some something is happening. Two people are coming together, and it's going to. It's meant to be. Okay. It's what. It's going to balance. It's going to bring balance and harmony to the situation. It's. It's. <laughs> Karma, it's good karma, okay? It's karma coming back around to bring you what you deserve after you drop something that didn't serve you. And there's going to be equality in this relationship. It's like these two people are going to treat each other um, equally. There's going to be equal give and take. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think things may be a little tense. They may be a little tense. There may be a little bit of struggle with, you know, back. Is this real? Is this real? You know, is this just a game? And remember, this is letting go of bitterness, letting go of resent. Letting go of that baggage. Be open to the possibilities. Let go of your need to fight this. It's not something you need to fight. It's not something you need to... battle with okay this is a, okay if you think about this this is a okay the four of wands to the five of wands the four of wands is a partnership you add that extra wand you know why why would you want to fight this why would you want to fight this ability for a commitment this can lead to a commitment So 
somebody's afraid, afraid to get in a relationship. So it's like they, they're having this inner conflict about change, okay? About change, about the choice, about being in a partnership, okay? Five, 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 all right here. This is a five. This is this is the five of cups and the five, 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 five. Okay, we got a big change happening here. You have to make a choice. You have to decide. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this partnership? Because there's a partnership here. We have two people coming together that both have a lot to offer but in order to come together they may have to give up some responsibilities they may have to drop something so that they can actually come together you know to have this wish fulfillment maybe they're overworked or they're overwhelmed and you know to be in a partnership you have to be able to you have to have time for it you know and you can't bring the past you can't bring the baggage with you you know for things to to, for you to get what you deserve, you might have to make some compromises. Okay? So you may have to see things from a new perspective. Um, it feels as though there's an opportunity for a relationship here, but so, and it's like, is this too good to be true? So there's some, so some power struggles, mental power struggles, okay? With, yes, this is an opportunity for love, but there's, a, there's conflict. I mean, this has happened to be quite unexpectedly. Five five five. Unexpect the unexpected. Quite unexpectedly, there's a new connection, and now life changes. So it feels like you know, uh, living circumstances. What what do we do about that? You know, um, with this card right here. So I feel as though there's an opportunity for relationship but somebody is wondering you know is this too good to be true and this is saying be open to the possibilities you might need to look at something from a new perspective you know this is an opportunity to come out of a painful situation to break free from something that really really hurt you for good to let the past hurt go Whew. But then again, somebody somebody doesn't, you know, we have somebody here that may not know their worth, may not, may have a self-image problem. Um, <laughs> it's the end of dealing with pain it's the end of waiting it's the end of pain it's the end of waiting it is it's, it's, all I can say is the it's the end of waiting it's the end of not being worthy not feeling worthy It's the end of no growth. It's the end of pain. Yeah, it's a time to celebrate. It's, it is. I think there is two people coming together and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a cause for celebration. After being after not knowing your worth, after not allowing yourself to open up to possibilities, after cheating yourself of happiness, waiting for somebody that didn't see your worth, so anyway, I feel as though we have a major new beginning here with somebody that it is cause to celebrate and it could lead to something really solid and stable and emotionally fulfilling. If you can allow yourself to receive this new offer and let go of your power struggles, okay, with the five, 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 fives and accept the change. Make the choice. This is major, major life change that is happening very, very quickly, out of the blue. 
this may have started out with you know a dating site or you may have met this person through your friends or it started out as friends with benefits or who knows I don't know what this is but sounds like that to me whatever this is it's like be careful because you could end up really falling for this person Does this lead to love? Does this lead to, to long-term love? It does. Long-term love by looks. But let's just see what we got here. Long-term love. Yes or no? Oh, marriage? Commitment? Have faith and trust in this situation? Believe? You already know the answer to this question. End of story. Good luck. I hope this reading is for you.